much longer. We're almost here. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be subjected to physical activity. We're here. certainly wouldn't in these woods. <laughs> Put some thought into this. Maybe a little bit. I hated you for a while. I don't blame you. Did you bring it? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and we're still married to the message in the bottle idea? Why? What's wrong with it? We're a thousand miles away from the nearest ocean. I think the idea is more symbolic. What do you think is actually going to happen at midnight? The chat rooms are saying that the stock markets and all transportation services will be overwhelmed by the switches to zeros. The evangelicals down the road think that humanity will face God's final judgment. <laughs> I just thought I'd cover all my bases and leave a message for any survivors if the world ends. <laughs> That's so funny. It's just, you've always been so indecisive. What do you think is going to happen? I do you want to leave a message? You made all these plans because the world might end, but you don't even believe it will? perfect answer for everything. The computers may crash the economy. Jesus may descend from the heavens. <laughs> Nothing is going to happen. Forgive me. I forgot that you are the final authority on every subject. It's just you've never been able to make your own choices. Well, you certainly made yours. What's that supposed to mean? Don't play dumb, Joe. That may work on your parents and your friends at school, but I know you better than that. Uh, don't change the subject. I mean, why are we doing all this if you don't even think anything would happen? Um, it's five minutes till midnight. I think I'm gonna go. What? No, please. It, it, it's dark and late. I know the way. I can walk. Oh, don't go. Tell me why I should stay then. Because I don't want to be alone if the world ends, you? Tony, please stay! Fine. Do you still want to do your message in a bottle thing? my contribution. Thank you for this. Yeah. So, what's your right? Oh, it's nothing really. Is it personal? Just an old note I had laying around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, what did you write? That's not fair. What? If yours is confidential, so is mine. Well, this whole thing was your idea. I thought you'd be more open to sharing. Well, I'll open up when you do. <laughs> what 
tree do you think we should put it in? That one. Thank you. field trip to the Smoky Mountains the day we went to identify the trees oh my God. and you picked, up, you picked up that small beehive from that no, one tree. I thought it was an abandoned bird's nest. And you picked it up and like a dozen bees started swarming you. <laughs> I dropped it and ran like hell. I had at least seven bee stings from that. I remember. I helped put calamine lotion on your arms in the bunk later that night. I got glasses later that year. <laughs> Thankfully. Can I ask you something? Do your parents know you're here? Of course not. I'm sorry. It's just easier. I know. I know. They loved you. Yeah. As you're fine. I'm sorry. note said I'm sorry ready century? Maybe a little bit. You? A bit. I wonder if anyone's going to find our message in a bottle. I guess that's the whole point. 